Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to convert XML to Java object. So that is basically called as unmarshalling. In other words, you can say that parsing the XML and getting the Java object from that XML. In the previous video, we have seen how to convert Java object to XML that is basically marshalling. If you haven't seen that video, then I will provide that video link in the description and on the top in the eye icon as well. You can check out that video as well. In this video, we are going to cover how to convert the XML to Java object that is basically unmarshalling and for that we are going to use JAXB. So here JAXB stands for Java Architecture for XML Binding. This is not any third party library. It comes with JDK itself. So if you are using JDK 6 or higher version, then you don't need to add anything in your class path. So here in this video, we are going to use Java 8. So we don't need to add any dependency to parse the XML and getting the Java object. So let's jump to Eclipse. So here we have one XML file that is basically student.xml file and the location is src main resources. So in the XML, we have one root element that is student and inside that we have three child elements, id, first name and last name. So we will parse this XML and we will get the object of student class and we will read these properties from the XML, okay, using the POJO class. So here we have one POJO class that is student.java having the three variables, id, first name, last name, because in our XML, we have three elements, id, first name, last name, okay. So whatever class you have, your POJO class, first thing is you need to mark, you need to annotate basically with XML root element, okay. This is required, otherwise JXB will not work and you will face an exception. So make sure you are annotating your POJO class with this annotation, that is XML root element. So this class is having three fields and getter in status, nothing else, okay. Now let's go to our main class, okay. This is public static void main. So what we will do first is, we will first read this XML file from the location src main resources. So we will have one object of file that is java.io. src main resources and student.xml file. So this is our student.xml file inside the src main resources. Now the next thing is we need to have an instance of jaxb context. Okay. This is an abstract class provided by jxb inside the javax package. So jaxb context equal to we will use new instance method that is basically static method. Okay. And here we need to pass the class. Okay. That's what we are going to use for the XML parsing. So in our case, we have this student.java. Okay. So the student class, student.class. Whatever class you have, that is basically you want to have one object of this class, right? Your POJO class that you annotate with XML root element. That's what you need to provide while creating the instance of JXB context. As I already said, converting XML to Java object is called as unmarshalling. So let's have an instance of unmarshaller. Okay, this is an interface. So let's have one object of this interface unmarshaller using this JXB context. Okay, create unmarshaller. Now we have an instance of this unmarshaller. So using that we will do the unmarshalling. Okay. So call the method unmarshal and pass the file that we have. Okay. So this is basically our XML. If you look at over this method, okay, unmarshal, then this is returning a type of object. Basically, whatever POJO class you have, right, you can bind to it. So in our case, we have student.java. Okay. So let's have casting for student class like this and let's print any of the element value 
okay say for example first name so here in our xml the first name value is john okay so let's run this java program see it is printing why because we read this xml file at the location student.xml basically and this element value is coming to this variable okay and that's what we are printing over here now you may be thinking that here we have file okay and that is containing xml but what if we have xml inside a string variable say for example we have one string variable and that is containing xml okay so what to do in that case let's see that part as well so let me go to this xml okay and copy all the things and let's comment out this file because that's what we are not going to use okay so let's have one string variable xml str containing all the things that our xml file is having okay so this is xml str now we want to convert this xml okay that is basically inside one string variable and we want to convert it to student object basically unmarshal okay so if you look at over here at unmarshal method then it is providing different options to pass our xml file okay we can pass our xml file as file our input source stream okay url whatever you want so here we will use string reader okay and inside that we will pass our xml okay that is basically inside our string variable xml str now let's run the program again see we are getting the proper value the same result okay so you can have different options while doing the unmarshalling you can provide your xml as string value or from the file or you can provide any stream as well it's up to you now here one thing if you notice okay then this element first name last name and id all are matching the same as we have variables inside our class that is student.java okay so that's why it is doing the unmarshalling and assigning this values whatever we have in our xml for the particular element to the respective variable but what happens if there is a mismatch let's see that part as well okay say for example here in our xml we don't have camel case okay we are not following camel case say for example okay so this first name is like this so now here we have first name element okay all in lower case but here that is camel case so let's see what happens in this case so let's run the java program see we are not getting that value we are not getting any exception but we are not getting its value as well but we want to have its value right the john the first name so what we can do when there is a mismatch between your java variable and xml element okay this is xml element name so go to the particular variable okay and its getter method so here we have get first name mark this getter as xml element okay there is one annotation at xml element provide the name and here we will pass the element name first name copy this and provide over here like this now let's run our program again and we will see if we are getting the value of first name or not see now we are getting the value of first name john why because this element name and this element name okay basically our variable name is not matching that's fine why because now we are having annotation over here okay on the getter method xml element so that will be fine if there is any mismatch and we are handling with annotation xml element so this is how you can convert the xml to java object using jxb so this source code i will provide the link in the description and apart from that in the description you will find the links for the courses that i am offering like spring boot graphql with spring boot mongodb with spring boot building the reports from your java and spring boot application using jasper reports rabbitmq messaging with java and spring boot and many other courses and its links provided in the description just click on the links and start learning new things
If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section, and share with your friends. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.